नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज निर्वाण वाण वाणी मीन्स स्पीच ओके वाणी मीन्स स्पीच निर्वाण मीन्स व्हाट कैन नॉट बी स्पोकन ऑफ राइट निर्वाण मीन्स व्हाट कैन नॉट बी स्पोकन ऑफ सो बुद्ध सेड रियलाइज अनत्ता अनत्ता मीन्स नॉन सेल्फ everything in the world there is no self there is no self means a permanent entity please understand here when he speaks of everything in there is anatta it's the phenomenal world in phenomenal world everything is changing there is nothing permanent in the world there is no center in the world understand everything is changing everything is in a constant state of change there is nothing permanent in the world right so he spoke up anatta means nothing permanent in the world but all of us want to protect something called me right some of i want to survive the me 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 i want to survive i want to, there is a stress i want to be free or i look good the me is there there seems to be a center in me which i call as ego or a local center of me built around with the personality identity our experiences we build on center so buddha says that center is not there anatta then what is there you cannot speak of it that's called nirvana the moment you try to speak of it you will try to conceptualize it don't try to just be that's the meaning of that so he gives an example a candle is burning constantly is burning so every time we say same flame is there is it the flame last minute 10 minutes back what is the flame is it there now the flame is constantly changing but still the flame appears to be there similarly i in me ego in me is constantly changing but still it appears to be there the ego is nothing but addition of body and mind yesterday's body is different from today's body yesterday mind is different from today's mind they were whatever happened 10 years back the, but the me seems to be a solid center the me it's a appearance it's like a flame appearing as continuous flame is not continuous okay so now buddha says that's anatta nothing in the phenomenal universe has the self self means ego self everything is changing okay so now we have a we have a sense of self me and we use the word i am going i am coming think that body i confuse myself with the body think that body is a solid entity are baba what are you speaking of yesterday's body has changed today today's body has changed tomorrow so is going to change tomorrow there is no permanent entity called me in this body okay but this body is depending on something which is eternal that buddha calls ajata unborn that unborn is atma so that unborn atma realizing that i am the unborn atma is called nirvana for that you have to realize anatta anatta is non self this is nothing but saying vedanta we are saying anatma you remove anatma you are i am not the anatma atma only i am so then once you realize that then what you are there is nirvana then tell me who you are so if you have to tell me who you are you all that you can say i know i am that's all nothing you can speak about that i am the moment say i am the body the ego you are speaking of the body the moment say i am intellect you are saying no no moment you say i am nani also you speak of the intellect only just say i am and if you want to say something i am so that i am is what is called being in the that i am is called nirvana and there's emptiness so the world has a phenomena and noumenon a manifest reality and unmanifest reality beyond manifest and unmanifest there's a noumen emptiness so that emptiness is called awareness consciousness chaitanya whatever is that from that world appears and disappears that emptiness you are that's unborn buddha that um, and that is called sakshi or atma or brahman in vedanta you are that so realizing that i am that atma or brahman 
and everything in the world there's nothing called permanent at all everything is temporary sakshi and saksham hmm. come together sakshi and saksham appear together okay. see witness saksham is all is nothing so saksham is nothing that's why sakshi is nirvana sakshi is brahman brahman or nirvana see sakshi the witness is there as long as you think there is something to witness once you realize that what is being witnessed is not self mithya unreal then sakshi also concept is not there the sakshi is not sakshi is real when the saksham is real when saksham is unreal sakshi i am i can't say i am witnessing unreal so then what fact that sakshi which is witnessing unreal is called atma uh, brahman because there is no other advaita nirvana everything being anatta everything being temporary there's nothing to cling on then what is there is eternal presence that presence we call nirvana atma the vedantic language says buddha calls that as unborn thing as nirvana vedanta calls this atma unborn is brahman atma see this is again i am is still something this question is again confusing the i am with the body so the question is there i am is something i am is nothing actually the problem is i am you are constantly referring to body i am body you are referring to the i am is a pointer okay don't look at the pointer see where it is pointing to i am is referring to a subject a subject which has not changed subject which is eternally see there is a, a guru a guru was walking with the shishya okay shishya says how i am i am is also a thing okay guru says look at the moon the dog who is there does not know what is look at the moon it looks at the finger right so use the i am as a pointer what is the pointing to it is pointing to something which is in you which is unchanging that is called atma this is not a thing it's nothing it's nirvana it's atma it's brahman now the constantly while you missing you are looking at the pointed oh i am is a thing i am is not a thing i am is a pointer what is that i am pointing to atma brahman atma or brahman is just indicating when you speak of i am i am indicating a subject now what type of subject subject which doesn't change always that's atma brahman i is pure awareness i am is a feeling an object so staying in i am is nirvana say i is pure awareness okay she, she is saying i is pure awareness nirvana i am is a feeling okay an object so staying in i am is nirvana is not correct <laughs> i is the i is the awareness i is the presence okay i am is a feeling and i am feeling appears in the waking state and disappears in the dream sleep state so i am feeling is in the manifest in the manifest reality is i am so if you stay in i am not in the i am is feeling but what i am is pointing to <laughs> that's called nirvana don't no no i am i am i am feeling i'm staying that means you are still identify the feeling so i am feeling is pointing to something what is it pointing to the unchanging i that's what you have to say i am otherwise you catch hold of i am feeling i am feeling will disappear in sleep right so i am feeling is pointing to unchanging i that unchanging i is atma is it clear to all and be on zoom so the question of nirvana means nirvana the vana vani shabda is vani that's vani in this zoom also okay so vani means speak unspeakable so that's in vedanta we say yato vacho nivartante i cannot speak of atma brahman because it's not an object i can only point out 
I cannot speak about point out. So point also I it, I it point also it cannot point as object. You can recognize that as I am. You can recognize yourself as a perception, a paroksha. The Vedanta is only trying to remove the confusion of what is real, what is Atma being confused, the body and mind. If you don't have confusion, you are done. <laughs> so Nirvana has a meaning, extinction. Okay, it's called extinction. Blowing out. How a candle gets blown out. Similarly, in life, everything is like a candle. Everything comes up, goes up, comes up, goes up, comes up, goes up. It's a flickering. Body, mind, intellect, world is just like a candle. It gets blown out. But what doesn't get blown out is Nirvana. It's unborn. It's the Atma. It's Brahman. Aja, right? Yeah, the same presence. presence. Yeah. So Nirvana also, another 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 meaning for Vana in Sanskrit is a, is like a Pali, Nirvana. Vana means Vana, Vana, body. I am not the body, I am not the mind, I am not the intellect, it's called nirvana. Nanu nanepudu nanalla, ideha manapudu nanalla, sachidananda atma shiva nanane shivoham shivoham. That is actually nirvana. Okay, anybody else has a question on Zoom? <laughs> 